Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and today I wanted to share with you a couple of different ways that I export out my animations once I finish creating them in Blender. So right off the bat, I'm in a scene that I've animated, and I'm not going to pretend this is really good. I threw it together in a pretty short amount of time, but it got the job done for me, and now I'm going to export it. So this is one sequence of a whole bunch of sequences that I'm throwing together for a really bizarre little short movie, and since it's not the final product, what I'm going to do is export it as an image sequence. And I've really grown to love exporting things as image sequences, and I just find image sequences tend to be a lot more flexible than exporting it out as something like a AVI JPEG or something like that. So I'm going to keep the file format here at PNG, and one thing to always remember when you're exporting image sequences is that you probably want to create a new folder for them to go into. So I've got my excellent naming conventions going on here. I'm calling it what it do Heyman, and it's on its own folder so it won't throw up images all over my other folders, and I'm going to accept this and that's where it'll go. Now you probably want to check just to make sure your resolution is all correct, and then once you've got that all set up, and you've got it going to the right folder, and you've got PNGs going out, then you can just go up to where it says render, and render animation. Okay, so say that you wanted to string multiple sequences together, and you actually wanted them to be a movie file, and you want to have audio with it. I've just thrown in some sound and some video clips here. This isn't really a video editing tutorial, so I'm not going to go over how all that works at the moment, but let's take a closer look here at our export settings. Right now, it's all just dumping into the TMP folder as an image sequence, and we don't really want that. So I'm going to hit the file browser here and find where I want to export that out as. Okay, so it's going out to that same folder as put to, which is a very efficient file naming system. <laughs> But instead of a PNG sequence, we want a video, and just over personal experience, what I found to be the best movie export is FFmpeg video. AVI RAW and AVI JPG are just massive file sizes, so this tends to work the best for me anyways. Now once you click that, if you hit render up here, it would not have sound, so if we go down to encoding, and you can see the video encoding properties here, but we also have our audio encoding properties and by default, it's at no audio. And if you're trying to render out something from the video sequence editor, that just will not work out so well. So let's switch this to something like MP3. And now if we go render and render animation, that should spit out our video file. Okay, so this quick tutorial was mostly how-to rather than getting flashy results, so thanks for sticking around even though I had some weird crap going on here. But hey, if you found this useful and you're interested in visual effects in Blender, there's a link in the description that says 5 tips for integrating your CG objects into live action footage, and I've created this tutorial for you to go over some really important parts of visual effects when you're working in Blender. So if you're interested in that, definitely give it a click. But hey, I'd say that's about it, so I hope you have an excellent day, and cheers!